grinding some corn here. This is a 1920s era McCormick Gearing Burr Mill. This would have been used before the days of hammer mills to grind feed on the farm, grind ear corn or shell corn or a variety of feed stuff. We're powered by a steam engine, a Frick six horsepower portable steam engine made in 1908. This would have been typical of that era for portable power on the farm. They would have ground feed, they would have shelled corn, they would have cut wood, they made a, could have run a small sawmill or a small thrash machine with this. These engines also would have been used in small factories in numerous towns to run line shafts for um, drill presses, lathes, wood saws, you name it. We're running on wood today and not using a whole lot of steam pressure, but this is just typical of, of the power source at the turn of the 20th, 20th century. Go ahead. Burn it. There you go. The burr mill is actually two steel discs. One is stationary, one turns on a shaft, and the corn is fed down in between it. And we can adjust the tension on it as well as the, the feed rate of the corn to, uh, to adjust our grind. This is, of course, kind of a cracked corn grind, but we could make cornmeal out of it as well. Just a little basic about the operation of a steam engine. This little sight glass here shows our water level. The water level in this engine goes back the whole way to the engine. If you sneak around this way, we'll show you. This engine is fired with wood. You can get a fire in, uh, picture in the firebox. And then there's tubes in the back of the firebox. I don't know if you can get a picture of that. You can see some of the flames going through it. Those tubes go all the way to the front of the engine, to the smoke box, where they, where they then dead end and, and uh, go out the chimney. But that's what heats the water. The tubes and the fire box are completely surrounded by water. So water is boiled into steam. Steam collects in the steam dome right here. The steam then comes out through the main valve, through a, a throttle, through the governor. This is a centrifugal governor that adjusts the steam. Okay, he's gonna blow the whistle right now. The steam then is fed through the valve chest. The valve chest, the valve is connected to an eccentric on the crankshaft. If you'll notice, it's moving opposite of the uh, piston. The piston in a steam engine, unlike an automotive or internal combustion piston, is pushed both ways. The steam pushes it back and the steam pushes it forward by the way of this valve. The valve moves opposite of the, of the piston and lets steam in on the back side and on the front side. So it's actually, most people think of a, of a piston as a single acting thing, but in a steam engine it's, it's actually it's pushed both ways. And from there, of course, the piston is connected to the crankshaft which powers the flywheels and the pulleys, which provides our power.